I've just been eating some wild blackberries in the forest of, um, of Millbrook off-road course. This is the bit of the fifth gear base where we, we get dirty and muddy. Uh, the reason why I'm here today is not to eat wild blackberries, is because we've got a classic Willis Jeep. World War II era, nice, American, against the, the actual the new brother of the Willis, which is the, the Jeep Wrangler. Kind of looks the same at the front end like it always has done, but obviously a much more modern car. Hopefully it's capable off-road. We've done a, we tried to do a one-in-one -in -one in, incline, which is there, and it's just the most treacherous, steep hill, and it's made of sheet concrete. We didn't quite get up those. I don't think anything can get up those, actually. We're just drying out the Willis because, um, because our mate from the American Special Forces, Mike Hawk, uh, he's over in the forest, I think he might be urinating, is helping me out because he's done a lot of off-road driving, he's been in wars, uh, and he's, driven, he's brought up on Willis Jeeps. It's very cool because his name's spelt um, Mike with a Y, M-Y-K-E, and Hawk with an E on the end, so quite cool. So I haven't driven the Wrangler um, at all today, I'm just about to start driving it um, to look at its uh, four-wheel drive capability. The Wrangler is based upon a traditional box section separate body and chassis. See, the, see that there? That's the, that's the chassis. And it's like a traditional setup where the body shell's actually bolted on to the chassis. They're two separate items. Whereas a monocoque, as they call it, is a in one piece car. Chassis and the body are, are welded, <laughs> bolted together. The, the Willis, the classic Willis, has got a C section separate body chassis. So C section steel is like that, like in C. Box section is like that, a box. This has box, that has C. Some people find that interesting, I do. So we're now rigging up the new Wrangler. You can see the camera gear going on it. You don't see these very often. You don't see these very often um, when there isn't a racetrack, just on this kind of stuff, this kind of terrain. Helmet at all times. This is almost more fun than, than driving fast on a track because off-roading is just as exhilarating and scary. Um, but the peril is all low speed peril. Or just driving through a lake, which we did in, in the Willis a minute ago, where the water's up to about there. And when you consider the Willis is, hasn't got any doors, if you notice there, no doors. And we don't get, I don't get to off-road very much on the show, so this is good for me. I normally get to review things like people carriers. In fact, all the vehicles that, that no one else on the show wants to review, they're the ones that I review.